Hello, hope you are doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use Dectopus. Dectopus is an AI-powered software that allows you to create beautiful presentations quite easily. All you'll need to do is go onto Dectopus.com. Once on Dectopus.com, you can start off for completely free. All you'll need to do is tap on Get Started in the top right-hand corner. After you have done that, you can sign up using your email address. Once you have signed up to Dectopus, you will be redirected to this dashboard. And once on this dashboard, you have three options. You can either create your presentation using AI, or you can start off with one of their templates, or you can start from scratch. For this example, we'll be starting off with a template and I will also show you how to create a presentation using AI. So to start off with a template, all you'll have to do is tap on start with a template. After you have done that, you can choose the category on which your presentation fall. So let's say for example, you're creating a presentation for a proposal. You could tap on proposal. Then from there, you can see the different templates right here that you can use. So let's say, for example, this proposal right here, product proposal, you can tap on preview. After you have tapped on preview, you can see the different sheets. So you can see right here, get an idea of how your presentation will look. And if it is to your liking, all you'll have to do now is tap on use this template in the top right hand corner. Once you have tapped on use this template, you'll be redirected to a new dashboard on which you can start editing your template. And to edit the template, all you'll need to do is pay attention to the left hand menu option. From there, you could tap on the plus right where you see add slide. And from there, if you would like to add a slide, for example, if you'd like to add a text and image, you can select that. Or if you would like to add a cover, you can also do that. And you can scroll down and you can see numerous other editing options that you can use. Once you have done that, let's say for example, you would like to change the image. All you'd have to do is tap on the image. Once you have done that, you can tap on select image or you could select upload image and you could add a new image from your device. Also, if you would like to change the text, all you have to do is tap on the text section, as you can see right there. Then you will see a box open up on the left hand menu option. And from there, you can type in whatever you want. So let's say, for example, I want the title to be simple answers. I could do that right here. And then you can edit this section also. And then if you would like to edit logo, you can also tap on edit logo. And from there, you could add your logo image. After you have done that, you can go onto a new page by simply tapping on page two. Or if you'd like to edit page three, you can do that. And again, you can edit any section. All you have to do is tap on the section that you would like to edit. So if I would like to edit the text right there, I can. If I would like to edit the timeline right here, I can also do that as you can see right there. And also if you would like to move one of the pages, so let's say for example, instead of the about us page being page three, let's say I want to move it to page two, I can do that. All I have to do is simply tap on the page then from there, you'll simply drag and place it to where you want it. So you can see that the About Us page is now page 2. And also, if you would like to add a voiceover or so on, all you have to do is tap on the microphone in the top left-hand corner of the screen. Then from there, you could tap on Record Voice or you could select Upload MP3 and you could add audio if you want. Once everything is to your liking, all you would need to do now is tap on play. So I could simply tap on it, then tap on play right here. And just give it a few seconds. First thing it is going to do is open up a new page. And then you'll be able to preview how your presentation will look. And in the meantime, also, if you would like to save it or if you'd like to do any other changes. 
so if you like to change the view you can also do that let's say you want to change the color of the presentation you can also do that all you'll need to do is go over to the left hand menu option tap right where you see design then from there you can choose the colors that you would like so let's say i tap on change then if i would like to change the color i can do that as you can see right there by simply tapping on any one of these color schemes and it changes the color on each page as you can see right there so by tapping on it you can see right there it changes and if you would like to change the font you can also do that by tapping right where you see the font style then from there you can select the font that you would like to use so let's say for example I want to use this font I can do that by simply clicking on it and if you would like to add notes you can tap right where you see slide notes and from there you could type in what you would like to add and you can also generate notes using AI. You can also tap on edit slide at the top left hand corner to continue editing. Once everything is to your liking, you could tap on download in the top right hand corner. And after tapping on download, you can choose to download it as PPT or if you would like to download it as a PDF, you can also do that. Let me look on the presentation right here on the preview you can see it right here so you can see how it looks right there this is it so that is an example and now let me show you how to use ai to do your presentation so let's go back to the main dashboard once on the main dashboard all you would have to do is tap on create with ai after you have done that, you can enter your presentation title, what your presentation is about. So let's say, for example, we are doing a presentation for the benefits of building a community. So I will tap on that, then tap on let's start. After you have done that, a new page is going to open up and you can see, you can choose who is your audience or you can type in who is your audience. After doing that, you are going to tap on next again at the bottom of the page. After tapping on next again, from here, you are going to see what's your aim for this deck. And you can type it in so you can see to convince small business owners that building a community can increase customer loyalty. Then I'll tap on next. After you have tapped on next, you'll choose the duration of your presentation. How long do you want it to be? So let's say 10 minutes, then you're going to tap on next. And from here, you can choose the template that you would like to use. So let's say I want to use the creative template, then tap on generate presentation. After you have done that, you're going to give it a few seconds. Meanwhile, the AI generates your presentation. It normally takes within a minute or so, but at the moment you can see that they are experiencing exceptionally high demand so I could tap on try again, but that is basically how to use it AI to create a presentation. And that is how to use Dectopus on a whole. Once you have finished creating your presentation, all of them will be saved as you can see right here. And again, you can choose to share it if you want, or if you'd like to edit your presentation, you can also do that. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.